Ok, salut à tous, c'est Nasso qui on se retrouve pour euh, Nier Replicant. Donc euh, la dernière fois, bon, on avait euh, on avait été dans la forêt des légendes, on avait on avait fait la partie visual novel du jeu. Donc euh, maintenant, on peut enfin se barrer d'ici <rire> et reprendre notre route. <rire> voilà. Donc euh... alors, en gros, ce qui s'était passé, on avait récupéré un verset et voilà. Et une arme aussi au passage. So how was the village? Oh, it was truly magnificent. There are no words, really. <rire> ah, ça se perd un peu en français, mais euh, euh, en anglais là en fait il dit euh, il n'y a pas de mots, vraiment aucun. En, en référence au fait qu'ils étaient prisonniers des mots. <rire> voilà. Euh, C'est juste voilà, le Grimoire Vice qui est, qui, qui est le meilleur personnage du jeu. <rire> Neat. Let's get back to Popola. She'll probably want to know what's going on in there. Ok. Alors avant de retourner euh, voir Popola, euh, je vais faire quelques petites choses off screen et euh, je, vais, je vais aller la voir après. Donc euh, je reviens. Euh, vous savez quoi, je pense qu'on va faire un épisode un peu chill avec quelques quêtes annexes. Euh, je suis là parce que j'ai continué la quête annexe euh, du mec qui veut entendre des, des volets à Popola chanter ensemble. Euh, pour ça, il fallait lui ramener... Euh... fallait ramener 5 euh, queues de lézard et 5 queues de souris pour faire une boisson pour Popola, c'est un alcoolique pour Popola, c'est un une torale. Euh, le, le truc intéressant des, des quêtes annexes, en fait, c'est les dialogues que tu as, genre comme celui-ci. A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. <laughs> yeah, Popol is really something when she starts drinking. Surely you chest. No joke. Once she got so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. Knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? Devil is more of a lightweight. If she has even a little. She starts acting all cute and meowing like a kitten. Devil, huh? For true? For true. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. <rire> voilà, des petits dialogues comme ça, c'est marrant. Bon, je vais retourner voir Popola, du coup, euh, je pense qu'elle va peut-être déclencher la suite du scénario. Mais euh, c'est pas grave, on continuera pas tout de suite, mais on va faire cette quête. Et il y a d'autres quêtes intéressantes que je vais montrer en cet épisode, je pense. Je vous rejoins. Allez Allons voir euh, Popola. Ah, ça déclenche ce scénario. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while. But once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Okay. The person I asked. Ah bah on peut pas faire la quête pour le moment, d'accord. Bon, on va écouter ce temps plus. Ouais, on peut pas faire la quête pour le moment, voilà, faut sortir de la zone et venir. Sinon, on va continuer un peu le scénario, c'est pas grave. En fait, là, ce qu'on. Euh... Ce qu'elle nous demande de faire pour ceux qui n'ont pas fait la... le remaster et qui ont fait la version 2010, c'est un ajout de la version euh, remaster. Parce qu'il n'y avait pas cette histoire de, de mec avec un sac rouge euh, à l'époque. Alors si je rentre dans la bibliothèque que je vais reparler, est-ce que je peux déclencher la suite de la quête On la finisse. 
Plus, la petite récompense de ce cut est marrant en fait, c'est une version euh, de, la, de la chanson de Devola et Popola qu'on entend que, que dans cette quête en fait, on n'entend pas ailleurs. Donc je me suis je me dis ça peut être ma, sympa comme récompense. Mais... Ouais, non, non, on peut pas lui faire la faire quête. Tant pis Bon bah écoutez, euh, on va continuer le scénario alors, hein, que je vous dise. Le jeu a décidé que non. Bon bah du coup je vais aller jusqu'à Littoral et euh, je vous rejoins là-bas, je vais vous montrer tout le chemin. Voilà tout de suite Ok, donc on est à littoral, ça y est. Alors, du coup, là, notre monsieur au sac rouge. Um, hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh god, it's over. My life is over. <sighs> Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Bon alors, dans l'ensemble, j'aime beaucoup le doublage anglais. Par contre, je dois avouer que pour ce personnage, le doublage est absolument nul à chier. Je sais pas si c'est passé avec ce personnage, mais son doublage est vraiment nul. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Uh, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> And it's all my fault. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, okay. Just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. And I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Ah, bah, ça, c'est sûr, Vice. Y'a pas besoin d'être un génie pour comprendre ça. Hey there, I'm uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home, and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here either. Though come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Uh... Sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Ah, désolé, on se casse. Au revoir. <rire> euh, alors, du coup, le magasin d'appât, donc, euh, ici. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although, now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. Last time she came around, She mentioned something about leaving town, but I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Espérons-le. qu'elle a pas été attaquée par des ombres. Ce serait con, n'est-ce pas euh... Hop. Ah, Youhou Genre, c'est ce genre de truc. Hmm. Something about that shade seems rather odd. Allez, dégage. 
Uh oh. Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the Shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Et malheureusement, on est arrivé trop tard. La femme est morte. Ce jeu adore te foutre des, des trucs tragiques comme ça. <rire> en vrai, franchement, c'est un ajout qui. C'est un ajout en fait de la version remaster qui va avoir du sens plus tard. Là, actuellement, ça sert un peu à rien, mais ça aura du sens plus tard. Enfin, une utilité plus tard. Vous comprendrez. Alors, du coup. Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a shade. <coughs> oh no! This... this is hers! So our fears were correct. Oh god... How could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. Get to fear. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... Because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. <laughs> Honey, I'm home! Good heavens, you're a wreck! What's wrong? <laughs> Dumpling! You're not dead! What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, c'est quoi cette doublage? <laughs> C'était quoi cette voix là? <laughs> ah là là. Je sais pas. Je sais pas si c'est volontaire, mais ça sentait la voix plein de reproches <laughs> et euh, assez euh, sarcastique. Bref. Okay, seriously, what's going on? Cinq minutes plus tard. I see. So, he found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? <laughs> I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week. <laughs> Remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Je suis d'accord. Hey, I have to go pick up a fish from the fish store. I can't believe you didn't listen to me and you ate my apple. You are the absolute worst. Je crois qu'on est obligé de les écouter quand même, malheureusement. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid. I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? An anniversary gift is an important thing. You probably should have taken better care of it. Oh, so I'm the bad guy now, hmm? Is this fun for you two? Do you like ganging up on a poor, innocent woman? Ooh, 
You disgust me. What? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Oh no no. <laughs> You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there, my husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon, but madam, I... Wave to Vogel. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. <laughs> oh, you are quite cotton. I see you finally agree on something. Oh putain, dispute de couple, mon dieu. You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. Pourquoi dans encore là? That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? It's so cool. You're kidding. Why didn't you tell? Oh, that's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. Allez, <laughs> pauvre. <laughs> 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 Just transpire, but it has utterly exhausted me. Je crois que t'es pas le seul, Vice. <laughs> well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well. In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal. <laughs> ah, qui est con? <laughs> I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right, that's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Okay, bon, bah, c'est bon, ça va, c'est arrivé. This was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Ouais, allons voir Popola. Okay. Goodness, it sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Thanks. Okay. Hey, wait. Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. Hey, Popola. The tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devla and then we'll head on over. Voilà. Alors, c'est le seul moyen d'entendre cette version de leur chanson. C'est pas la meilleure version de leur chanson, mais bon. Elle est, elle est pour l'accent, donc je vous la laisse en profiter un peu. C'est vraiment juste la réponse. Such an unusual sound. I feel like I could listen to this song forever. I hear that. Funny how she can't sing it unless she has that crazy drink, huh? I don't know 
where that song comes from, and yet, somehow it feels oddly familiar. Oh, so beautiful. Reminds me of back when I was a lot younger, it does. Prettier, too. Well, that was fun. Hopefully, it won't be so long until the next time. <laughs> voilà, c'était un peu le moment relaxation, détente. C'est sympa. Heavens, what a thrill! I had no idea those two had that in them. Me neither. Ok, euh, alors je crois qu'on a euh, deux autres quêtes qui peuvent être intéressantes, quêtes annexes. On va finir l'épisode sur les quêtes annexes, je pense. Parce qu'il y en a quelques-unes qui sont intéressantes quand même, hein, la plupart ne sont pas des quêtes annexes. Euh, et je vais voir s'il y a celle que je pense qui est disponible. Alors, je vais voir si c'est la quête qui, qui m'intéresse en hein, question. Ah, juste le kid que je cherchais. Qu'est-ce que c'est J'ai une lettre pour la femme de la lighthouse, et je pensais que tu pouvais la livrer. The other postmen, well, they don't really want to deal with her. You don't say. I'd do it myself, but with my bad leg and all. Anyway, sorry to keep bugging you, but can you help? Sure thing. The lady hardly ever leaves that lighthouse, so you should start there. Oh, and thank you. Ok, euh, on peut la lire d'ailleurs, je crois. Mais pour au 28 mars 3340. Mon amour, me voici à nouveau à t'écrire alors que j'avais le devoir à mes pro de mes propres yeux. Comment vois-tu Moi je vais plutôt bien. Ma maladie persiste, mais mon amour pour toi est plus fort. Savoir que tu m'attends suffit à me rendre des forces. Je sais que la solitude te pèse, mais j'insiste, n'essaie pas de me chercher. Le voyage est traître et la maladie fait rage dans cette tournée. Si t'avais quelque chose, je ne me pardonnerais pas. Ma bien aimée, je te retrouve là. Voilà. J'ai vu ça. Moi, je sais qu'on a eu avec Popola. Ok. Donc, bah, du coup, alors là, en fait, on va. Nerve! How dare he boss us around? It's okay, Vice. At least we're helping people. Ah, you are far too soft. And you're just a cranky old man. Book. Alors, alors, en fait, on va faire cette quête. Pour moi, honnêtement, je crois que c'est la meilleure quête annexe du jeu. <rire> voilà, je le dis clairement, c'est la meilleure quête annexe du jeu. Moi, c'est la plus intéressante. Et je pense que je suis pas le seul dans ce cas. Parce que là, c'est la quête de la vieille femme de... du phare. Et je trouve dommage, en fait, que ce soit une quête annexe. Parce que comme la vieille femme du phare est introduite dans le scénario, c'est dommage qu'en fait, 
sa, son histoire n'est pas finie dans le scénario. Il faut faire vraiment la quête annexe pour finir son histoire. C'est pour ça qu'on va la faire. Elle est vraiment bien celle-là. Oh, you again. Are you all right? You took so much time delivering the mail, my illness has gotten worse. I'm lucky I'm not dead. You truly are a staggering creature. Well, since you're here, I guess I should give you a little something. Whoa, I, I can't accept this much. It's fine, just take it. Take it and go. But bring the mail quicker next time. And I want to see a smile. Is there no end to this madness? Alors ça c'est la première partie. Oh, when will he return to my side? Euh, en fait c'est la première partie mais je me demande si la, la suite. C'est pas plus tard en fait. J'ai un doute. Je sais que c'est en plusieurs parties sa quête. S'il faut juste sortir de littoral et re-rentrer pour euh, lire la suite. Évidemment, hein, c'est pas ça la vraie, la vraie fin de la quête. Hein. Euh... Ah, attendez, je vais essayer de regarder si je peux trigger la suite de la quête maintenant ou s'il faut vraiment attendre un peu, un, peu, un peu le scénario. Je reviens. Et donc, juste pour que vous sachiez, il faut retourner euh, parler à Devola en fait et accepter euh, ça, la colère de la Garden du Phare. I've got another job from that seafront postman. Apparently, some cranky old lady is giving him trouble. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so head over there to get the details. Alors, faut reparler au postier. Ah, Rassurez-vous, hein, je fais vraiment pas cette quête pour rien. Je la montrerai pas si je pensais qu'elle était vraiment pas bien. Donc, euh, je reviens. But it's the first request I've made in ages. How dare you deny it? You can't leave. Who's going to tend the lighthouse? How much longer will you force me to toil here? I must go to him. I need to board a ship as soon as possible. No way, lady. It's back to work for you. Now get going. What's going on? There's no one else in town who knows how to keep the lighthouse burning. We... we need her. <sighs> Look, she seems to trust you. Think you could maybe talk her into it? I suppose a visit is an order, yes? Lettre, elle veut aller rejoindre son mari, enfin, en tout cas son, son amour. Allons voir ce qu'elle veut. Case at that. So that's the illness she kept mentioning. Oh, you. I suppose you want to tell everyone about my illness, hmm? Well, don't. I don't fear death. I've lived long enough and I'm weary of it. I'm weary of being alone. 
But though I don't fear death, I do have one regret. I wanted to see my love one last time. I've spent 50 years working the lighthouse for these people, and now they won't let me leave. I just want to see him. I want to board the ship that will take me to him. Oh, cruel world. So it's a dying wish now, is it? We should help her out, Vice. We've better things to do than stay here and operate a lighthouse. You'll have to convince the villagers to help. Come on. Let's start with the postman. Ouais, ouais, je crois que vous commencez à comprendre que c'est pas une quête joyeuse. Ouais. Ça t'imagines l'horreur, n'empêche, rester 50 ans euh, seul, loin de la personne qui était le plus cher. Je trop. Et cette quête n'est pas finie. J'ai vraiment pas grand chose à dire là, parce que vraiment... Euh, c'est un moment où j'aime bien laisser, ah, juste profiter quoi. Parce que l'ambiance c'est bien. Et vous, allez, vous allez voir. Listen, about the lighthouse lady. Could you reconsider? You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... wait, she's dying? Yeah, so if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. Look, I... Hmm. Alors là, vous pouvez aller là. Euh, je me souviens comment on règle le vol. Non, c'est bon, attends. Non, je peux pas, attends. Ah, il y a un truc que j'ai mal fait là. Ah, comment on réalise Comment on réalise Ah attends, je suis con. Je m'emmerde. Ok, il y avait ça. En fait, je crois qu'il faut faire autre chose d'abord. Attendez. Il y a quelque chose que j'oublie. Il y a tout de suite, ou alors faut revenir après. Hmm. Methinks the postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. Ça fait un pareil tout de suite. Ah ouais. I can't believe she's going to die. Moi je suis con, je suis sorti et rentré. Il n'y a pas de temps. I suppose there's no need for this now.
Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Uh, work! Just, just some work! Wait, are you writing a letter? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? Ah, What? Well, that's because... Uh, um... The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Ah, the vérité. Well, crap. <laughs> crap. <sighs> Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. Ah, c'est maintenant qu'il faut aller là. J'étais un peu trop tôt. Bon, du coup, j'ai pas besoin de refaire le puzzle. C'est déjà ça. There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs. They're... letters. Yes, and a rather sizable bundle. They were all written by the woman in the lighthouse. Ah, and you never thought to deliver them. I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Ada. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hopes is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land somewhere, and we couldn't bear to tell her otherwise. So we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. Are you going to keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth, now is it? What about her final request? I don't know. How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. It tells her to wait. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies. You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. Deliver the letter or tell her the truth. It's up to you. Ah. Oh man, this is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. 
Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do? question est-ce qu'on continue à lui mentir et qu'elle reste ici à... jusqu'à sa mort ou est-ce qu'on lui dit la vérité et bah moi vous savez ce que je vais faire hein, parce que je crois que j'avais dit dans un précédent épisode qu'on a eu un choix similaire avec les deux frères de la forge pour moi, elle, pour moi de toute façon elle, elle est condamnée elle est condamnée elle va mourir elle va mourir. Ça sert plus à rien de lui cacher la vérité. You, do you have any further news for my love? Vous savez, quel est mon choix? This is for you, but your love didn't write it. Oh, posh. It's his handwriting, and I recognize the stationery, too. That which you recognize comes from the town's postman and his father, not from your beloved. Are you saying those two idiots wrote all these letters? But... but why? Your lover perished long years ago, and they had not the heart to tell you. Thus, the charade. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. To tell you the truth, part of me had suspected something like this. But it's hard to hear a secret thought finally spoken aloud. I... I think I should be alone for a while. I'd like to ask you a favor. I want you to forget we ever had this conversation. The entire town has worked on this story, and they did so to make me happy. I don't want their hard work to go to waste, so I will carry on as if I am none the wiser. As you wish. Please, tell the postman. Thank you. We will. Ah, j'ai rien à dire. Cette quête est magnifique. Franchement, si toutes les quêtes avaient été de ce niveau, ce jeu aurait été... Je pense qu'il aurait été meilleur qu'automate, honnêtement. Je vous jure, c'est pas la première fois que je vois cette quête, j'en ai quand même les larmes aux yeux. Je la trouve magnifique, cette quête. Je la trouve juste magnifique. Conclusion. Ah, cette quête est vraiment magnifique, vraiment. Je vous jure. Là, même en la refaisant, là, je me dis encore qu'elle est magnifique. Là, je crois juste sortir du village et y retourner. Ou alors, faut parler des voilà, je sais plus. Ok, c'est ça. Faut parler à Pop. Allez, voilà. Et c'était à quelle conclusion? I got a letter from the Seafront Postman. Apparently, he has a message for you. How mysterious. I wrote. Voilà. Retournons voir le postier. 
Ehh... The woman from the lighthouse has passed. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked... happy. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? Actually, I told her the truth. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. I always figured the old girl would outlive me. I hope our plan was right. I hope it made her happy in the end. Did we do the right thing? Was she happy? I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans, and perhaps even magical tones, are far more uncertain creatures than we know. Yeah, I guess. C'est bel et bien vrai. Et bah écoutez, euh... je, je pense honnêtement que c'est, on va être d'accord, c'est. C'est la meilleure quête de ce jeu, c'est juste la meilleure quête annexe de ce jeu en termes de scénario. Il y en a il y a aucune autre quête annexe qui arrive à ce niveau. Et c'est bien dommage d'ailleurs. Vraiment si toutes les quêtes annexes avaient été de ce niveau là. Ah putain ce jeu aurait été tellement encore. On aurait été encore mieux que ce qu'il est quoi. Et là, là, là c'est vraiment le top niveau au niveau des quêtes annexes. Il n'y aura jamais eu de quête annexe meilleure que ça dans ce jeu, je vous l'annonce tout de suite. Et euh, elle, elle était forte celle-là. Et bah je pense qu'elle est parfaite pour s'arrêter. Et euh, voilà. On va arrêter cet épisode-là. La vieille dame phare n'est plus parmi nous. Qu'elle repose en paix. Et voilà. Je vous dis à la prochaine.